Hi and welcome to today's Pilates session. All you're going to need is your mat, your space around you, your diner band and a head pillow if you need one. Uh, we're going to start today lying onto your back. So if you can't find yourself in a nice comfortable position onto your back, find that nice neutral position. Take a moment to get yourself set up so your back is nice and relaxed against the mat. Take a focus where your feet are, make sure they're not too close to your bottom. Um, nice and relaxed through the feet, the toes. So give them a little wiggle, feel a nice um, lightness through the soles of your feet. And then we'll check that we've got knees and feet hip width apart. So if you're not sure how to do that, bring your feet in towards the center, turn the toes and the uh, fronts of your feet all the way out, plant them into the mat and bring your heels around to face. So that should bring your feet hip width apart. And then we'll focus what's going on through the low back. So what we don't want to do is have the back too pressed into the mat. So we don't want any force, um, any extra force going down through, through our low back. What we'll do is we're going to imagine that we've got that little marble sitting in your tummy button. You're going to roll it all the way away from you so your back arches up and then roll it all the way up towards your head and let the back sink down towards the mat. So we know how much movement we've got through the spine. So let's tilt it all the marble all the way down towards your toes. We'll lift the low back and then bring that marble all the way up towards your head and let your back sink down into the mat. Now you want to find your position halfway between these two points. So roll forwards and backwards gently, get that movement smaller and smaller until you find that point halfway between those two areas. There we go, that should be our nice neutral spine. And we're just gonna stay there, ask the shoulders to relax nice and gently down into the mat. Relax the neck, relax the jaw, there we go. And from here, we're gonna just focus on the upper part of the back. We're gonna go single arm first of all. You take a nice breath in as you reach one arm all the way back, and breathe in as you bring it back down. Let's swap arms, so we go nice deep breath in, stretch your hand, reach it all the way behind you. There we go, and slowly bring it back. Work with your own breath cycle. We're gonna breathe in as you stretch up, and breathe out as your arm comes back down. All we're doing just to warm the arms up is just think about the movement that's going on through that ball and socket joint of the shoulder there. And as you reach your arm all the way back, I want you to think now about sliding your shoulder blade down towards your hips. So we're creating that length through the arm and length through the neck. And when you're ready, we're gonna to start to bring both arms together. So we're gonna do a nice breath in, reach both arms back and a breath out as those arms come back towards your side, there we go. Breath in, reach those arms back, and a breath out, sink them back down, good. Couple more. Now if you've got space around you, we could go for a little bit more movement through the shoulders. This time as your arms go back, sweep your arms around the side. I haven't quite got room for both arms, but you get the gist if you've got the, the space here. Both arms go back, and then keep your hands against the floor as you bring them round down towards your side so we're getting that full range of movement through the shoulder blades just circle those arms around lovely a few more perfect let's do last two nice deep breath in as you reach those arms back lengthen through the spine circle those arms around last one perfect good let the arms rest down by your side we're going to work with the legs so foot contact with the floor or um, just skimming above the mat. So we're gonna just do a little breath out as you lengthen one leg out and a breath in as you draw it back in. There we go, breath out, lengthen, breath in, draw it back. Now, I want you to focus what's happening with the hips, the pelvis. Everything should be staying nicely in line. If you notice you've got a little bit of a tilt going on side to side, just draw in a little bit tighter with your tummy muscles just to help stabilize through the pelvis area there. So we're gonna breathe out to lengthen, breathe in, draw it back in. Breathe out to lengthen, breathe in, draw it back in, nice. So just gently getting some movement through the ankles, through the um, knees, hips, lovely. And as you do this, push a little bit further with your heel, so you're really getting that stretch through the back of your leg. So as you take the leg out, push the heel towards the wall in, in front of you and feel that stretch, lovely. Good. 
nice and we're going to bring the arms in so we do opposite arm to opposite leg so we get that full length one leg goes out one arm goes out to bring it back into that start position opposite arm opposite leg there we go so this time we're going to work with the breathing so you're breathing out as if you're blowing the hand blowing the leg away breathe in as you bring it back so now we're starting to get some more control of those deeper core deeper stabilizing muscles so breathe out to lengthen breathe in draw it back perfect let's do one more on each side lovely last one lovely find yourself back into your neutral position so feet hip width apart knees hip width apart we'll come into our spine curls first of all so all i want you to do is think about rolling the hips back towards you so you're pressing your spine now down into the mat and then rolling the hips away so i want you to think about those bottom few vertebrae so maybe about sort of five in your lumbar spine so i want you to think about rolling them back and pressing them one the next one the next one the next one into the mat as you roll the spine back and then roll, um, tilt away as you lift them back up one by one. They're gonna come away from the mat again. So we're gonna roll them in. That's it. And then roll them out. Good. Now keep going with that movement. Watch what's happening with your knees. So sometimes we're concentrating so hard on what's happening with the spine that the knees start to forget where they're supposed to be and start dropping out towards the side. So let's keep the knees facing up towards the ceiling. Just do that little press of your back down into the mat and then lift as you roll the hips back forwards again. Good. Now, as we start to get more into this movement, you tilt the spine back, roll it back, roll it back. When you get to as much movement as you can, you're gonna give me a little squeeze of your bottom just to lift that tailbone off of the mat. And then we're going to roll back through the spine one by one, placing those vertebrae back on to the mat, back to that start position. So we're starting to lift and then release through the glutes. So. Glutes are nice and relaxed first of all, so relax your bottom muscles. We do the tilt back, we tilt, 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 press each of those vertebrae into the, into the mat. Then we're going to do a little squeeze of your bottom and just lift the tailbone off. Good. And then as you roll the spine back down and your tailbone now makes contact with the mat, that's when we relax those bottom muscles. And now just do that little lift, lift, lift of the spine so we come back into that neutral position. Because we don't want to end with our back pressed into the mat. We want to end so that if you put your hands underneath your back, you'd be able to slide your fingers through and give your fingers a little bit of a, a wiggle. So let's practice that a few more times. So we're going to tilt back, roll the hips back. When we've gone as far as you can, squeeze at the bottom, just do a little lift. Nice. And then place those bones back down one by one. Tailbone comes down, relax your glutes, tilt the pelvis back to neutral. Good. Two more, so let's go roll back. As far as we can go, tailbone starts to lift, so we do that squeeze as we lift it properly off of the mat. And then place those vertebrae back down one by one, relax your glutes as the tailbone touches, and tilt back to neutral. So you've lifted those vertebrae off of the mat. Here we go, last one, tilt back. Squeeze through the glutes when you need to lift. And then roll back down again one by one. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do three now coming into the full shoulder bridge. So this is when we start to squeeze, lift the tailbone up. We're going to see if we can keep using that squeeze to lift the spine a little bit further up and away from the mat. So here we go, neutral position. We're going to roll the hips back. When we've gone as far back as we can with roll, we do the squeeze of the glutes. Use the squeeze to start to peel the spine up one by one. Lift, lift, lift. See if you can keep that squeeze going, lifting the hips high. And then roll the spine back down one by one, really slowly focusing on each of those vertebrae one at a time, placing the weight back down onto the mat. Tailbone touches the mat. We can relax the glutes now and tilt the spine back to neutral. Perfect, let's go again. Roll the hips back. Tailbone wants to lift, so we squeeze through the glutes. Lift, lift, lift. Use the squeeze of your glutes to peel up rather than any pressure onto your feet. And then one by one, placing those vertebrae back down into the mat. Tailbone makes contact, relax the glutes, tilt back to neutral. Nice, you should be getting some nice movement through the spine here. Just check your shoulders, 
Haven't started to steep too far up towards your ears, so we'll walk the fingers away as we do our last shoulder bridge. Roll the hips back, squeeze through the glutes as you lift that tailbone, peel the spine up one by one, nice and high, strong through your bottom. There we go, and place this vertebra back down again, one by one. And tilt back to neutral, perfect. Good, let's roll up from the other side this time. So we're gonna place hands onto the front of your, um, onto your th front of your thigh. If you've got any neck problems or um, uh, you start to feel that you're getting a little bit of soreness through the neck as you do this exercise, pop a pillow behind your head so your head's rested up a little bit higher. Um, so take a moment to grab a pillow if you need to. Otherwise, hands come up on the front of your thighs here. Still thinking about shoulders back and down. So just do a little squeeze of your shoulder blades into a nice little soft V down the back of your spine there. And we're going to do a nice breath out, strong through our deep abdominals. Lift the head very slightly, but the pressure shouldn't be coming through the neck. We're going to start to work through the chest. So we kind of do a little lift, and then you're going to roll the spine up from the top down towards the bottom and then roll the spine back down again. So just as the shoulder bridge was lifting the tailbone up, and placing back down again. This is lifting from the other end, so we use either the head um, to kind of guide the way, but the work comes from the chest. What we don't wanna be doing is poking the chin forward and lifting up. That is gonna give you neck problems, um, and certainly if you do that a few too many times, that's gonna give you some too much tension through the neck. So it's just a little lift of the head. We're gonna breathe out as you press your shoulder blades down into the mat and roll yourself up, and slowly roll the spine back down again head comes nice and resting onto the mat. We're gonna nice slow breath out as you come up. So again, breathe in, breathe out, lift the head, peel up through the spine. There we go, abs are working, not the neck. And roll yourself back down again, fantastic, good. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out, peel up. Lovely, and lowering back down again, good. Let's do two more. Each time you go up, see if your fingers will reach a little bit higher towards your knees. Good. Perfect. Good. And take your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch out. Nice. There we go. And just circle those knees around. Just loosen up through your back. Both directions. Good. We're going to do one more bit on your back, so you're going to grab your band this time. We're gonna come back into those shoulder bridge exercises, but we're gonna bring the shoulders into the exercise. So if I talk you through, first of all, we're gonna come into our neutral position. You're gonna take the band so that it sits across um, the front of your pelvis, front of your hips, where your arms are resting um, comfortably, so that you're not hunching your shoulders up. Arms are nice and long. We're gonna come back to that shoulder bridge, so we're gonna roll the hips back, squeeze through the glutes, Peel yourself up into that nice shoulder bridge position. Now with the band, palms facing down, we're gonna hold this shoulder bridge position so we're strong through the glutes. And we're gonna do 10 pulses if we can. Five if it's a little bit tricky. Pushing the palms of your hands down, squeezing the shoulder blades. And 10, there we go. Roll the spine back down and tilt the spine back to neutral. Perfect, good. So we're gonna repeat that another four times. Um, so remember, with your pulses, I want you to think arms long. So push your fingers towards your feet as you do the pulses at the same time. So we're going to go when you're ready. Tilt the, tilt the pelvis, squeeze through the glutes. Peel yourself up nice and tall when you are ready. Palms are down. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, relax the arms, roll the spine back down again, one by one, keeping that tuck under with your hips as you roll yourself back to neutral. Perfect, we've got three more of those when you're ready. Roll the hips, squeeze through the glutes, peel yourself up to that shoulder bridge. Palms are down as you do your pulses. That's it. We don't need to work too hard, the hands don't need to touch the floor. There we go, and then roll the spine back down, tilt back to neutral. You'll feel your glutes are working because obviously they're going against the resistance of the band and we're holding it in that strong position. So we've got two more when you're ready. Tilt back, peel up, good. 
palms are down as you pulse, shoulders are working, squeezing those shoulder blades as you press your palms down towards the floor. Good, roll the spine back down when you've done your 10. And you come back to that neutral position. We've got one more time like this when you're ready. So we just breath out, roll the hips back, squeeze through your joints, peel yourself up. Lovely. And here we go again, last 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Roll back through the spine. Lovely. Bring yourself back to that neutral position. Make sure your glutes are switched off and bring yourself into a nice little um, knees to chest. Roll those hips around. Take the knees around one way and then take the knees around in the other direction. Fantastic. Good. Okay, let's change, to, change position. So we're gonna roll you all the way over onto your tummies. So you bring yourself over. Okay, first of all, we're gonna lengthen through the quads. We're gonna go into a nice little stretch. So you're gonna grab hold of one foot, bring it in towards your, um, your heel in towards your bottom, give that hip a bit of a stretch. Good, press your hips. So you do a little squeeze of your, your glutes, squeeze your bottom, push your hips down into the mat. That'll take that stretch a little bit deeper. Fantastic. And then gently release off. Let's go on to the other side. Grab again the back of your foot. Bring your heel in towards your bottom. Just feel that stretch. Good. Lovely. There we go. Press your hips down a little bit deeper if you need to get deeper into that stretch. And gently release. Good. Right, we're coming into neutral position onto your tummy. So forehead goes down onto the mat. I'm going to turn my head so I can, you can hear me talking. Um, we need to do a little lift of your tummy button and press your pubic bone down into the mat. So you should be looking into this position. Hands are down by your side to start off with while we find that neutral position. Press the pubic bone down, lift the tummy button, and we're just going to work with the legs. So we're going to do a single leg. Squeeze from the bottom, just lift, and then release your glutes and lower the leg back down again. Opposite side, do a squeeze and lift, and lower it back down, good. Breath out as you lift the leg, breath in as it goes back down, nice and slow. I want you to focus which muscles you feel are working. So it should be your glutes in your bottom. If you're feeling that it's all coming down into your hamstrings, before you lift the leg, take a time to really focus your mind into your bottom. Squeeze your bottom muscle, make sure that's the one that's switching on first. So, if we do it before you, before you lift, do an actual squeeze, so do it like a clench of the glutes there, and then let the leg come up. There we go, that way we can focus, it's definitely into the glutes there. Opposite side, do a squeeze then the lift lowering it down good now it's not about how high you lift the leg the height of the leg is not important it's about the order of the contraction of the muscles so just make sure those glutes are actually doing the work there we go squeeze and lift nice good when we're happy that we've got glutes switched on we'll just let the legs relax just give them a little rock you know, take your arms so they're reaching forwards in front of you. Um, shoulder set up. Let's draw the shoulder blades back and down. Forehead again still onto the mat. We're going to go with the arms. So on the out breath, we're going to draw the shoulder blade back and down and just lift. So again, it's about switching on the, the shoulder girdle muscles rather than using all the arm muscles to lift. So we're switching on through the shoulder. That's going to start to prepare the arm ready to do the float up and the lift. That means everything is coming from that shoulder area there. So squeeze, switch it on and lift, breath out, breath in as it lowers back down again. Opposite side, switch that shoulder on, breath out as you lift it up, breath in as it lowers down. Lovely, good. Keep repeating that opposite side, breath out as you lift up. 
breath in as it comes back down, super. Lovely, one more on each side. Good, squeeze and lift. Perfect. When you finish that, bring yourself up into a nice little um, shell stretch child pose and just open up through your back. So sit your bottom down onto your heels because we're going to come back down into that position. We're going to do both arms and legs together. So it's going to start to get a little bit harder as we move into these next couple of exercises. So if you feel that these exercises are starting to get a bit too much, especially if you notice that you lose that um, support through those deep abdominals and your back starts to collapse down into the mat, come back to this first exercise and keep practicing this. Once we've mastered this and it feels um, not easy, Pilates is never easy, but we feel like we've got a lot more control over these movements, then we can move on to the next exercises. So you'll know what's right for you, hopefully. Um, so take yourself back down into your neutral position. On your front, with your arms out. What we're going to do when we do arms and legs, we're going to do opposite arm to opposite leg. Things I want you to think about are how much rocking and rolling is going on through the pelvis, through the arms. So what we don't want is the hips to end up uh, sort of shifting from side to side. If they are, we're not drawing in and not supporting through our deep abdominals enough. Um, so let's get into neutral position, forehead down onto the mat. Press your pubic bone down into the mat. Lift the tummy bone, uh, tummy bone? Tummy button, tummy button up. Um, and then it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Remember, squeeze the shoulder girdle muscles, squeeze the glutes. They're your supporting strength muscles and the rest arm and leg is gonna float up. So here we go. I'm going to draw in with my shoulder, squeeze in with my glute, breath out as lift up, breath in as you lower back down, good. Squeeze in, breath out, breath in, lovely, good. Relax everything, so the tendency is once you've got the hang of switching and turning those muscles on, sometimes they stay switched on the whole time. So once the arm and the leg are down, make sure you completely switch off those muscles relax them before you start to lift the, the opposite side. So here we go, squeeze, lift, lower, switch off those muscles, good, squeeze again, next muscles, breathe out, lift up, lower down, switch off, relax, good, squeeze, breath out as you lift, breath in, lower down, Check those muscles are switched off. Here we go again, opposite side, squeeze, shoulder, squeeze bottom, breath out, lift, breath in, come back down. One more on each side, squeeze, breath out to lift, breath in to lower down, relax. Here we go, squeeze. There we go, lovely. Last one. Perfect, good. Take yourself into a little stretch. So you sit back onto your heels, child pose, shell stretch, whichever feels best for you. Come into this position. A few deep breaths, really open those ribs. Perfect. So we're coming into the last progression of this exercise where we're going to lift both arms and both legs and come into that sort of swimming motion. So this is obviously the hardest of these exercises. So if you feel any discomfort, especially through your low back, obviously come back down, always take it back to a level that you feel comfortable um, and then much more control of your movements. So if you're ready and you're with me, come down onto your neutral position again. Okay, forehead down, arms are out lengthened. Uh, legs are out. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little squeeze of the glutes. We're going to see if we can lift both legs off of the mat. And from here, we're going to see if we can kind of do that little swimming movement. So we're leaving the arms where they are for the moment. Squeeze your glutes, lift both legs. And we're just going to, as if you're kicking, in the swimming pool. One up, one down. Just working through. Relax the glutes lower them back down again. Now, as you do that, watch what happens with your low back, because if the low back completely sinks down into the mat and you end up really arching through your low back, we need to take it back a level. 
um, and go back to single legs so that we can make sure that we're really getting that uh, engagement through the deep abdominals. So one more go with the legs. So come back into this position. We do a squeeze, lift both legs, and just a few up and down. How are we doing? Get those legs moving. Really does work the bottom. And then relax the legs down. Completely relax those glutes. So rock them, rock the legs, shake them out. Perfect. Okay, let's see if we can do the same with the arms. So again, forehead is still down onto the mat. Shoulder blades are engaged. So we're going to just work shoulder blades back. Bring both arms up and see if we can just paddle one arm up, one arm down, alternating the arms and then relax them and place them back down. Now, you think that's not much of a movement, but you should notice that as you start to lift both arms off of the floor there, those deep abdominals, you know, right through into here uh, are really switching on. So you should notice something happening through there. And again, by lifting the arms up, if those deep abdominals are not working as they should do just yet, you're going to get a little bit of an arching of your low back. So if you're starting to feel pressure build up through this area, um, obviously just pause, wait for um, a moment, have a little stretch or go back to single arm for us. So we're going to do two more sets with the arms. So forehead down, arms out lengthen, squeeze through the shoulder blades, lift both arms and see if we can paddle up and down. There we go. Keep going, draw strong with those abdominal muscles. Lovely, lower the arms. Just relax them down for a second. Lovely. Good, and then when you're ready, we're gonna do the same again. So make sure your head's in the right position, shoulder blades are back and down, arms are up. Here we go, paddle those arms. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Shoulders are away from your ears. And relax. Cool, perfect, good. We're gonna do two goes of arms and legs. Now, if you have definitely noticed something going on in your low back, then you're not gonna move on to arms and legs. You're just gonna do one more set of arms and one more set of legs for me. Um, but if we're okay, if back's feeling good, we're gonna go for a set, uh, well, two sets of arms and legs. So here's how it's gonna be. Forehead is down. Squeeze the blades, lift the legs, draw the shoulder blades back, lift the hands, up and down, opposite arms, opposite legs. We're gonna be paddling or swimming. Good. So slow breath in, slow breath out, and then relax the arms down. Whew. Just have a little rest in this position. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go again. Um, same arms and legs. We're gonna take it through five breath cycles for the last one. So when you're ready, squeeze the glutes, lift the legs, squeeze the shoulders, lift the arms, slow breath in, slow breath out. Slow breath in, slow breath out, keep those arms and legs going, slow breath in, slow breath out, stop if you need to, last two breaths, slow in, slow out, last one, slow in, Ooh. <laughs> slow out, relax the legs, relax the shoulders, bring yourself all the way up, sit all the way back, lengthen those arms out. There we go. Couple of deep breaths here, really open up through the ribs. Another deep breath for me. And slow breath out. Good. Come back onto all fours. There we go. Shoulders above your wrists, hips above your knees. Let's mobilize through the spine, doing a nice deep breath in. Tuck the spine under, or tuck your bottom under, round up through the spine. Breath out, lengthen your hips back, let the spine sink down. Good, breath in, tuck under, lift up. Good, and breath out, lengthen back, lift the chest. Good, two more. And breath out, lengthen back. Lovely, breath in, tuck under. And breath out, lengthen the hips back. Good. Just come back, work through the wrists, just give them a little circle because we're going to do a couple of exercises now on all fours. Just a small progression here. Um, if you've done these classes regularly, we're going to start off with one we know and then build it up into a stronger exercise. So we're coming into all fours. So remember in our all four position, we want shoulders over the top of wrists, 
hips over the top of the knees, back nice and flat so we're not sunk in the middle or over arched if I'm that flat position. We're going to be lifting hands and knees all of a couple of millimetres just so the pressure or the touch of your hand or knee is not onto the mat. So shoulder blades, draw them down towards your, spot, um, your hips, lengthen through the neck. We're going to do a nice breath out as we just lift one hand and place it back down again, opposite side hand, lift and place it back down again. Keep going one hand and then the other hand. So we're going to breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you pop back down. Your focus is on that tray of drinks across the tops of your shoulders. Nice. Lovely. So we can feel those abdominals now starting to work. As you lift one hand, what's going on through those deep abdominals? They should be switching on. Good, rest the hands, let's do the legs. So knee and ankle up, we're gonna draw in strong, place it back down, opposite side, knee and ankle lift. Place it back down, good. Breathe out to lift, breathe in to lower back down, good. Breathe out to lift. Breathe in, place back down. Good, keep going. Good. Nice. One more on each side with the legs. Breath out to lift. Breath in to down. Good. Breath out to lift. Breath in to down. Sit your hips back down onto your heels and come and take the weight off of your off of your wrists there there we go that's it just take that tension out give them a few little circles fantastic okay we're going to come into our strength position now so we're coming back onto all fours shoulders over the top of the wrists hips over the knees this time dig your toes down into the mat our strength position is going to be hands stay pressed into the mat toes are going to press into the mat and knees are going to lift so we're going to come up and then lower down. So we'll do it with the breathing. We're going to go for a set of 10. We're going to breathe out to lift up, breathe in to lower down. If it feels quite strong, you're going to do five, take a break and then join in for the last few. So here we go. We're going to do a nice breath out, lift, breathe in, lower back down again. Good. Breath out, dig your toes in, lift, breathe in, come back down. Good. There's two. And lower down. Good. Nice. Three. Breathe in, come down. Now watch with what's going on with your shoulders. If you're starting to tire, those shoulders will start to come up near your ears so you get a bit of a hunch going on. So draw those shoulder blades back and down. If it gets a little bit too much, if those abdominals are hurting or any strain through your low back, take a pause. Here we go, three more. Lovely. Last two if you can. Take a break if you need to. Down, lovely. Knees come up. And down, there we go. Turn your uh, backs of your feet down onto the mat. Come down into your child pose. Lengthen those arms out. Lovely. Good, and then gently come out of that. We're gonna come into a sitting position. So we're gonna sit with your legs out in front. Lengthen those legs away, sit up nice and tall. And we're just gonna see if we can get that stretch through the fronts of the legs. We'll do a little mobility movement through the spine before we start to do a last bit of work through the shoulders for today. So we're gonna take a nice breath in, reach up. A breath out, fold yourself forward, reach towards your toes and breathe in as you circle your spine up, lift your arms up tall, good. Breathe out, take your hands forward, lower them down towards the mat, breathe in as you scoop up, reach up high, good. Breathe in. Lovely, last two of these. Last one. Get as much of a stretch through your back as you can as you reach your arms forwards. 
breathe in and just rest the shoulders. Lovely. This time, take your band. You're gonna pop it around the soles of your feet. Legs are still out straight if you can. If you're really struggling to sit onto your bottom with your legs out straight, you can do a little bend of the knees and that will help bring your chest up um, tall if you can. So we're gonna hold onto the band um, with enough tension in there that we're gonna work the shoulders. So the exercise we're going to do is grabbing onto the band, bringing the elbows back so they're coming level with your shoulders, elbows are drawing towards that wall behind you and then slowly letting the arms come forwards. So we're gonna breathe out as you draw your elbows back and breathe in as they slide back in again. Breath out, draw them up and back. Lovely. And then gently relax back down. Breath out, draw them up, squeeze those shoulder blades they're kind of coming together at the back, but also down into opposite hips. Last two. So think about that direction of the shoulder, length through the neck. Here we go, last one. Oh, lovely, perfect. We're gonna just stay sitting where we are. We're gonna do a nice stretch through the shoulders that so you're going to take one arm round, bring your hand in, uh, or your whole arm in front of you and just hug that arm in towards your chest. So you can start to feel that stretch through your shoulder. And then we can add some rotation. So the long arm that's um, pointing out, we're going to twist in towards that. So we're taking the stretch round through the back of the arm, the shoulder there, that side. And then just a few breaths as you hold it. Lovely, gently bring yourself back. We're gonna swap arms to bring the other arm across, hug it in nice and tight, and then do a little rotate. Lovely. And then relax it off. Good. Breath out, rotate it. And relax back in, good. Roll those shoulders. There we go, give us a nice deep breath in, bring your arms all the way up, and breath out as you take your arms down towards your side. A few more, breathe in, reach up, and breathe out, float those arms down, lovely. Breathe in, reach up, and breathe out, relax back down. Last one. Brilliant, well done, I hope you've enjoyed that session. If you want to add to it, um, pop down onto the, the page and look at the few more of the tone up in tens and you can add a few more sessions or a bit more time to your workout session. But otherwise I will see you on your next one.